Welcome back today to the Garden Rebel channel and we're getting prepared to plant some potatoes this weekend before the rain hits. But with that being said, I'm going to try something different this year. I've got a bucket of fertilizer here. This is triple 10. And in the bottom, I've got a product that I picked up called Green Sand. We're going to try it this year, see how it works. It's a soil additive, uh, all natural. And uh, we'll see how it does on the potatoes. We're going to sprinkle this out in the spot behind us and then we're going to till it under and we're going to plant so hang around and we'll take a look around and see what's growing in the garden this week stick with us All right, so we got it filled up. Now, let's get you situated. This row right here that you see, the middle one, is going to be the group with the green sand and a little bit of fertilizer. And we're gonna put a small row out towards the end of the patch with just basic seed potatoes, nothing else added. We're going to actually see how this does. So let's get situated. I've never used the green sand before in the last year. Uh, we planted potatoes in here. They done pretty good, but with the rain, uh, we had a lot of them rotting the ground. So hopefully the rainy season's over and done with, I hope. And uh, I'm gonna plant these potatoes kind of thick in here. Uh, we're not, this is the only thing that we're probably gonna put out in this spot this year is potatoes. So I'm not really worried about space. It's just, we don't eat a lot of potatoes. We're actually uh, tossing out some, or giving them away for seed potatoes to uh, another guy because we didn't eat all of our harvest last year. But let me finish planting these guys and then we're gonna take a look at some issues we have with our cabbage this year. So stick with us, we'll be right back.
All right, we'll see how the green sand works. See if it makes a difference. So, let's head over to the other garden spot. Okay, this year when it came to our cabbages in the garden, as you can see behind me, uh, I done two experiments. I took some gravel from the creek that runs alongside the garden, piled it up in the field where I plant, and the idea was to see how it would do as far as water drainage and how the plants would grow. So I had a 100 foot long row of cabbage plants, mixed varieties. Some were going into a low spot where it gets a lot of water when it rains, Others were going up on the high area to where the water would run off of it. And then we had a patch in the middle of those, um, that area, that had the gravel. So let's go over here and I'll explain to you what I found out about the water in the cabbages. Now I need to go over here. Yes, as you can tell, I have not been weeding my garden. But this is the high end. And as you can tell, it's mixed sizes. But they're good heads of cabbage, I can't complain. And then we get to the area to where I piled up the gravel. And you can see how it's dome shaped. It's just little creek gravel that I piled up. And they are significantly larger. And some pretty good looking cabbages. And as we leave the gravel area, the size starts going down. This is the low line area right here that holds a lot of water. These cabbages are pretty well gone. And this is a normal setting right here in the low area. You can see the size difference. And this right here is a Bonnie Cross cabbage and I'm really, yeah, not impressed with them not impressed as you can tell in the low area they didn't do very well bonnie hybrid bonnie's best cabbage well bonnie if that's the best you got you need to hang it up dear <coughs> so we lost about 10 heads of cabbage total but that's you know that's expected in some areas of this planting spot because of the low line. But we just do a few quarts of sauerkraut and a lot of coleslaw. So I think we're going to have a lot of coleslaw. And right now is the time to be checking for insects and I don't see any right now. I haven't seen the white butterflies, cabbage butterflies, cabbage worms, whatever you want to call them flying around much this year but I am going to get over here since we've got the garden tiller out and dress these jokers up so we've got potatoes planted over there the little spot that we've got tilled up right there in front of the old shed which I still haven't tore down because I'm lazy to be honest with you <laughs> uh, will be an area for leftover plants let's say I've got my rows laid off and I find out after I space my plants out for their maximum growing area that I've got two or three tomato plants of four or five different varieties. That is the area those go in. I'm not going to waste them. But I've got to get down here and retill this after the rain comes in this go around. I haven't found any Civil War relics this year which I'm really surprised. Normally I'll find a cannonball or something in this area. But we're we're doing good. Got to mow. I'm just not mowing a lot because of the flowers and the bee population. I'm letting it grow as much as I can, then I'll come in and knock it down with a big mower. So that is it for this educational section of the video. But we are going to try the green sand out this year. I don't know anything about it other than it was recommended to me to try. Uh, we had a bag sent to us. It's rather an expensive product. 50 bucks, 60 bucks a bag. I think it's a 40 pound bag. It's They've got the quantity you're supposed to use on there. I think it's uh, 
so many pounds per thousand square foot. I'm not exactly sure. I did measure that out up there and I simply forgot it's been a long morning. But other than that, we're going to get to bush hogging and picking up fence posts and getting everything ready for that spot. And guess look what's there. Brush piles. Still. Because I'm lazy. Yes. Very lazy. <coughs> I think that's going to be plenty big enough garden for us. We've got four spots this year. we got the spot up next to the garage. It's doing really well. Karen's got her little uh, about a six foot by three foot bed and it's doing good uh, so you know we're gonna have plenty to give away and help people out and try and some different growing techniques and experiments and we'll see how it does if the weather kind of gives us a break for the rest of the year it'll be a good year i think i hope so with that being said if you're not a subscriber, please do so. Leave us a comment, hit like, uh, come back for the next video. I mean, whatever you want to do, just find me, and I'm just rambling on because <laughs> I'm putting off getting that tiller over here. But we got to get it done, so let's get it done, and I hope to see you next time on the Garden Ripple Channel. Uh, but I really do hope to see you guys back for another video that I do. So until next time, I'm the Garden Rebel Todd, and I am out of here. Y'all have a great weekend, and I'm going to go fire the tiller up. Till next time. <laughs>